This is Tyler with American Implement in Scott City, Kansas. And today we're gonna go over the uh, settings and hookup of a 1775 with a 5E uh, electric drive and IRHD. Now that we've got our uh, SCVs all hooked up, hydraulics, uh, let's go in and look at our planner and configure it the way it needs to be. So we're going to go ahead and hit menu, uh, machine settings. Now you should have Seed Star app right here. If you don't, make sure you give us a call. Uh, we'll put a USB in and get that on there. So we go in there. It's going to bring up your main page for Seed Star 4. We're going to hit the arrow, point to the dot, our setup button. And first things first, we're going to arrow all the way down to SUV settings. So this way we can go into and go automated SUV control. We hit next. Edit settings confirmed. So we got edit settings. So SUV number one is gonna be other. But number two, remember that's where we put vacuum number one, that was our left vacuum. And SUV number three is where vacuum number two is. We don't have to assign anything else on here. That's all we need to assign for the SUV settings. Hit okay, go ahead hit next. So that's what it is. It says flow rate seven is recommended for the following SCVs. And then we hit save. The system will restart. So we gotta turn off the tractor and restart. So we'll come back and we'll go from there. All right, so now that we got our SCVs assigned here, this is number two, number three SCV has got our vacuum on that. Um, you can also adjust the increment. So if you don't wanna adjust your vacuum every two inches, um, you might want to put it at 0.5 or something like that. You can edit that and I'll show you where we go to get that all put in there. Um, you can arrow through all this. It's not going to be a problem, but we need our alarms. So our row is not planning due to section control warning enabled. So we can click that so we don't get the notification. Override switch. Um, we'll go up through here. Um, our gauge wheels and our downforce. Oops, I don't want too many. We have it set at 20 pound increments. Same thing like the SCVs. Um, anytime you want to make adjustment on your target, how much you want down for, or your, for your margin, it can increment at 20. I would suggest by 10, be a good starting point. Um, then you record start and stop height. Uh, this is when you get the planner all out. You can sit there and edit these as far as when those discs are about to hit the ground and when they're coming out of the ground. So you just set that right here and you say edit settings and basically just hit, hit the current. Uh, since we've got our planner folded up and everything, we're not going to go through this. Go on up. We've got our speed source. Right now it's on auto. We recommend it be on auto. That way it will determine coming off your GPS that's a tractor set off of for your Starfire 6000. Um, if you had a radar and you wanted to use radar, you got ground speed. or a, And wheel speed is highly unrecommended. Um, so, but that should be on auto. Advanced rate setup, you can check that. Uh, you want to make sure that's always checked. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. And this is our main planner page. So right here, the DPG, that's our generator. This is where we're going to kick it on or off. Um, right here is our vacuum. So if we click on that, it's going to bring it up. So we got our piece of our pie, just like the auto track system. We've got three fourths of it now. So when we do kick those in, it'll go auto and have an A on there. And then here's where we can tuck it in our target. So if we're running Pro Max 40s, we might run a start at 15 inches on both of them. And you can run them separate or down here, there's a check mark and you say use common target. So then you can adjust it. So like I said, there's that half, half inch increment each time. Now you can sit there and fine tune it. And then also from the start of this morning where it's 40 degrees out into this afternoon when it might get to 70, your hydraulics warm up. Well, before we'd always have to constantly adjust our SCVs. This is a nice feature. It'll keep it at 13 and a half inches of vacuum. If that's our target throughout the day as our oil warms up. Now we're back to our main planner page. We're gonna go in and set up our uh, seed disc. Right now it's showing I have the standard corn. We're gonna go ahead and select that. It shows 30 cells, which I have the Pro Max 40. So we're gonna head there and then we're gonna arrow down over to where it says Pro Max 40. It's an A52391. We're going to go ahead and select that, hit OK. 
documentation is updating so that's what's important anytime you make a change on here we want to make sure our documentation set up also um, so a population adjust so work setup is right here on the screen so rather than have to get out go to work setup we can go right here so i'm going to go into my corn and right here i need to select my variety so if i'm doing a single variety i can select single if i'm doing dual like one tanks left side is one and the right side is the other or I'm doing a test plot or something and I want to go in there and assign each and put six different varieties in. So we're just going to do single and then we're going to come here where the dots are at. And now I've already set up a couple varieties. I don't name them all, but I just put a P1 and a D1. Uh, we'll select the pink one here. If we need to edit it, we can name or whatever, or down here also you can add a variety. Now we recommend that you do most of your setup all in the operation center. So when you come to the tractor, all you have to do is select them. You don't have to add anything. It's already there. So everything you're gonna use for the year, it should be there. So we're gonna hit okay. Hit okay, we assigned it to all 24 rows on this planner. Okay, go ahead and exit out. And so we're still in the work setup. What's nice when you get out of it, it brings us right back to our setup screen on the planner. Uh, so we also have product alarms up here. So if you want to edit the population high warning and the low warning, you can. Right now there's default at 10%. Uh, I would leave it by that. Singulation low. Um, so if our singulation's not 99, 98, and it drops down clear down 92, it'll beep at you. So if you want that beep sooner um, and get your attention sooner, you can sure adjust that. Also spacing, that uh, coation variance of uh, how the seed spacing is. So if it's 0.35 is kind of default. If you want a little tighter than that, you can. Uh, gauge wells here is where you can go ahead and set them, but currently we're in transport mode. So everything's nice and folded up still on this planner. So we're not able to go in and adjust any of this. We'll do that in a later session. So we'll go back to seed. So make sure everything's set up, looks good, and exit out. So now we got our Promax 40, shows our alarms. Over here now we need to go ahead and set our rates. We click on that. So we can set up the five preset rates and then also our prescription right here if we were gonna do verberate seeding. So I don't wanna plant at zero. This is gonna be my irrigated, so I can go in there and I can type 32,000. Hit okay. Um, and then hit save. Now, if I want another one, let's save for the corners. And I'm gonna bump those corners down. So I want 18,000. I hit OK here, and so it's rate two, 18,000. Now, I want to highlight this. There's a disable check mark here. So you can disable it or enable. You want to leave it enabled if you're just going to run those two. Now, you can set up multiple rates if you want to. Like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and have this all put in here. So I've got some 24,000 pop. I ain't safe. Now there's three to choose from, but let's say I get to a field that I don't need that 24, but I'm going to use the 18 and 32. I'm going to edit it, and this is where I'm going to use that disable rate. So I'll go ahead and hit save. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and exit out of this one. So now we have our rates here. Uh, we are selected on P1. Then you go to P2 if you wanted to, or rate 2, excuse me. I don't want to do rate 4. And now it should show I'm shooting 18,000 population. I have to go back in there to go back and forth. If I need to, I'm down to 32. All right, now we've got that all set. Let's go from there.